Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to show you how to set up an Ecobee contact sensor. So these Ecobee contact sensors are compatible with the Ecobee Smart Thermostat, also known as the Ecobee 5, or the Ecobee 3 Lite Smart Thermostat. So in order to get the Ecobee contact sensors connected, we need to make sure we have our thermostat connected and set up to Wi-Fi and connected to the Ecobee app. Then we're going to go to the Ecobee app. So all we do is open up the Ecobee app and we're going to go up here in the upper right hand corner and click on the plus symbol. Now we need to select the type of product we're adding. We are adding an Ecobee contact sensor so we're going to select this down here at the bottom. Now it says bring your home together. Smart sensor for doors and windows. Connects to an Ecobee thermostat or camera to amplify your home security and energy savings. Let's get started. Click on that. Now it says scan the QR code. You'll find the QR code on the pull tab behind the battery of your device. Well, we have already set this up, so we no longer have the QR code. However, you can manually enter a code for this device. So go ahead and scan it now, or you can go ahead and enter the manual code. So I'm gonna click on manually enter code. It says you'll find the eight character code behind the battery cover of your smart sensor. So in order to get the code for the Ecobee smart sensor or contact sensor, you can see there's a little indentation here. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to pry that off. And then we have our eight digit code right down here. And you just enter that pairing code into the app. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. And then when we have that code, we're just going to slide this back into place like so, and then press down, and then the battery and the sensor will be live. We've got the code entered and we just click next. Now over here, it gives us a notification it's connecting. I'm just gonna click OK, got it. It says pull the tab so your smart sensor can find your Ecobee thermostat. Since we didn't have a battery tab because we already pulled it, it was already live. Now we're just gonna click next. Now we need to choose if we're going to use this on a door or a window. I'm going to use it on a door. I'm just gonna put it on my front door, which is just like this. Now I'm going to select the door that I'm using it for, so front door. Now I just click save name. It says first clean the mounting area. So in order to install this, all you're going to do is clean the mounting area and then you have these two adhesive tabs on here. So just go ahead, clean the area, make sure it's dry. You're gonna pull these two tabs and then you're ready for installation. So I'm going to click all clean. Now it says meet your base and magnet. We're going to click next. It says the base also senses motion. This circular area right on the sensor will also detect if there is motion in the area. So you want to place it upright. We're going to click next. Now it says when the magnet is placed close enough, it will indicate it's close. So once we pull them apart, the green light goes off. And once we get them close together again, the green light goes on. So when you mount this, you wanna make sure that when your door is closed, you see that green light, which means that these are properly positioned. Now, once we pull the two sensors away, that means that the door is opened. And once we put them together, the door is closed. So you just wanna make sure that when you install this, when you have your device closed, that the sensors will line up close enough that you get this green light indicating that it is properly aligned. Now we're gonna click next. It says get a feel for the right spot. We're going to click next. Now we're going to click ready to mount. And you can see in the pictures that they want you to mount this larger piece to the moving part of the door. And then this small piece will be attached to the frame. We're going to click done. It says never accidentally leave a door or window open. We're going to click not right now. We don't want to get the two months free. It says all systems go. You have successfully added your Ecobee smart sensor to your home. The light on the base will automatically turn off in a few minutes. Show me my sensor. Now we can see that our sensor is connected and I'm just gonna click back to the main portion of the Ecobee app. So now it offers us Ecobee home monitoring. So you could use these as a home monitoring service like a security system with window and door sensors. I'm not going to do that because there is a monthly cost associated with that, but they do offer you two months free. 
Now we can see the current status of our Ecobee window and door sensor or Ecobee contact sensor down here at the bottom of the app. So currently if the two devices are pushed together like the door is closed, it will show closed. Now if I disconnect them and open up the door, you can see the status opens up and it shows that the front door is open. So you could use this for a window or a door as a contact sensor to let you know if it's open or closed, as well as there is a little motion sensor in there. So thank you for watching this video on how to connect your Ecobee contact sensor to your Ecobee thermostat. Please give us that thumbs up, subscribe, click any links below if you want to support us, and thanks again for watching. Thank you.